Elon Musk weighed in, right? Elon Musk yes. tweeted yesterday saying the Fed should drop the rate by at least 50 basis points on Wednesday. Elon wants a cut, Ryan. <laughs> I love Elon, right? Yeah. He's always provocative. And look, he's selling autos, and autos want low financing costs, so it's in his best interest for sure to have rates go lower. But he did make a really good point, and I actually am in the case, it's the first time I felt good on a Fed day in a long time, by the way, um, is, you know, if you keep raising interest rates, even 25 basis points, that, you know, increases short-term treasury rates, which if you're a depositor at a bank right now, that's more of an incentive to leave the bank and put your money into a treasury fund paying a higher interest rate. Mm. And we're trying to contain depositors leaving the banks right now. So I think there's a good case right now that the Fed actually does nothing, which would be wildly bullish right now for the markets because we're only anticipating a 25 basis point hike. But what if they do nothing? And yeah. I think it's high odds. I mean, wildly bullish for a day. But, Ryan, are you worried about this banking mess? I mean, I know the large banks are fully you know, capitalized and all that, but there's a report the other day that 200 other additional banks may need support. You got them talking about supporting all deposits, $18 trillion in deposits we're supporting now. Really? I mean, the Fed put us back, and there's nothing more bullish than that in my mind, because now every bank has a credit facility where they can go to if they're in a crunch, and I think you just need that stability. Because look, let's face it right now, if you look at lending to deposit ratios, they're at multi-decade lows. Banks in general are in phenomenal shape right now, and you can actually vote on my Instagram story this morning if we're going to go into recession or not. Most okay. people are 50-50. I'm still in the soft landing camp. You are. Um, I think the no banking recession. No recession, which is very provocative to say that. It's probably close to right because, let's face it, inflation's coming down now exponentially yeah. and wages are staying strong. Labor market's not going to fall off a cliff. That's a soft landing to no landing. I'm still saying that, Cameron.